Annie Lister was born on 3 April 1791 in the town of Halifax in the county of West Riding of Yorkshire in England. Anne was the second child and eldest daughter to Jeremy Lister and Rebecca Battle. Jeremy's and Rebecca's first child was called John, who was born and died in the same year in 1789. When Anne was around two years old the family moved to an estate called Skelfler House in the town of Market Wyton. Rebecca Lister nay Battle would give birth to seven children, four sons and three daughters. Only Anne and her younger sister, Marion, who was born on 13 October 1798 would survive to be adults. In 1798, when she was seven years old, Anne attended a school in Agnesgate, rip and run by two women, Mrs. Haggess and Mrs. Chettle. From the age of ten, Anne was then educated by the vicar of Market Wayton, the Reverend George Skelding at home, when she developed an interest in classical literature. From the age of thirteen in 1804, Anne attended the Manor House School in York. It was during her time at the Manor House School, Anne would meet her first love, Eliza Rain, both of whom shared a bedroom at the Manor House School. Eliza's father was a surgeon with the East India Company in Madras, she was also illegitimate and half Indian. Eliza was brought to Yorkshire after her father's death in order to inherit a vast sum of money. For some unknown reason in 1806, Anne was asked to leave the Manor House School. After leaving the Manor House School, Anne started affairs with other women including Isabella Norcliffe and Mariana Belcom causing Eliza so much anguish that she ended up as a patient at the Clifton House Aislam run by the father of Mariana Belcom. Mariana was uncomfortable to be seen in public due to Anne's masculine appearance and for dressing in black which was only reserved for men at that time. Mariana and Anne were lovers for about 20 years, which included when Mariana was married. On the death of her uncle in 1826, Anne inherited the Shibden estate. Anne did not gain full control of the estate until after the deaths of both her father and her aunt in 1836. But even part of the income that she received before then allowed her some measure of freedom. Anne's financial portfolio included shared in canals, railways, mining and quarrying plus a large number of properties in town and agricultural tenancy. The portfolio enabled her renovate Shibden Hall and for her passion of travel in Europe. Anne always remained faithful to the Anglican religion and was also a committed Tory, interested in defending the privileges of the land-owning aristocracy. In the early 1830s, Anne started a relationship with a wealthy heiress, Anne Walker. On Easter Sunday, 30th of March 1834, both Anne and Anne took communion together at the Holy Trinity Church, Goodramgate, York. Through this act they considered themselves married, but without legal recognition. The Holy Trinity Church is now considered as an icon for what is interpreted as the site of the first lesbian marriage to be held in Britain, which now displays a commemorative blue plaque in recognition of the event. Anne Walker's inheritance was used to renovate Shibden Hall and the estate, including the addition of a waterfall and a lake. In 1838, a Gothic tower was added to Shibden Hall. They both lived together in residence at Shibden Hall until Anne's death in 1840.